Good afternoon. I'm student meteorologist Antonio Negron with the West Coast Forecast. We have some unseasonably mild temperatures today, and with them, some probably cloudy skies. However, we do have an impending snowstorm that has such a drastic change from today. But in Danbury, as of 2 p.m., we have a temperature of 56 degrees, a dew point of 35, and the winds are northwest at 14, or they are also gusting to 24. My weather headlines, we have the unseasonably mild day today. However, we will have a quick change with the winter storm warning we currently have in effect for our area. And how much snow do we expect? Well, I'll talk about that later on my forecast. Now for that winter storm warning, the snow looks to start after midnight in Western UK and then move eastward across the state. Accumulations, we're looking for 6 to 12 inches over most of Connecticut, locally 12 plus if any band set up. However, the northwest corner of the state only will have 40 inches of snow. And with this storm, we have winds of 10 to 20, north winds of 10 to 20 miles per hour, gusts 35 to 40, and the temperatures will dip also with the wind chill. Instead of the high of near 30 degrees, with the wind chill close to 20, so definitely a different change with those winds. And with the National for Sally, with the swath of clouds so south of the Great Lakes, and this is the low pressure that will be bringing us the snow for tomorrow. And with the national radar, here's the snow in Illinois and Indiana at this time. And with that, with that excuse me, with that, we're going to look at the surface map for 7 a.m. tomorrow, and the low pressure current would be situated just east off the Delmarva, and it will move east of Long Island and then past Cape Cod, bringing the snow in this entire area. We're going back to Danbury. Tonight, we'll have low temperature 26 degrees, north wind of 5 to 10 miles per hour, snow starts after midnight with accumulations in over 2 to 4 inches. And for tomorrow, high of 30, north wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour, gusts up to 30, heavy snow and windy, and those additional accumulations in over 48 inches, and then locally even more, depending on those heavier bands set up. And for my 5 day forecast, the snow looks to taper off anywhere from 8 to 10 p.m. on Thursday, bringing us for the probably sunny skies on Friday. Definitely a good day to clear out with the probably sunny skies. On Saturday, we're looking for some a.m. flurries. However, other than that, it'll be cloudy with a high temperature of 37. On Sunday, we're also looking for some flurries and snow in the early a.m. hours. But that will quickly change the rain with a high temperature of 42 degrees. And Monday, it'll all clear out with probably sunny skies and a high of 41. As always, you can meet the team, look for some WCSU, the EDU for us weather, and look for Patrick Cahill today at 4 p.m. to update on the continued evolving winter weather situation. I'm student meteorologist Antonio Negron, and thank you for watching.